Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And for those who haven't read the title just yet, today we are taking a look at the Under Armour Anatomic Spawn Look. Let's get it. First things first, big shout out to the lovely people of our Pro Direct Basketball for sending these through. We highly appreciate it, don't we, Timmy? Of course we do. If you want your pair of the Anatomic Spawn Low, head over to our description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct website, and they will take care of you. And you know what? You know what? If you want to save 10%, 10%, you should use our promo code, PureKicks10, to save 10%. It's in the name. As per usual, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video as you guys already have. Comment down below your thoughts on the anatomic lows. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 10K. We're almost there. You know what you have to do. Hit the bell next to it and get notified every time we drop a new video because you don't want to miss a thing. Under my basketball is up to no good. Just looking at the NBA athletes on their roster, mm. talking about greats like Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, mm. I mean, they're in the lab, bro. And after playing in this shoe, yep, I and you. understanding how good this shoe is on court, obviously we'll get into that in a second. 100%. I think we're both very happy with the direction they're going in. 100%, they should yeah. be proud. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. Starting off with our favorite part of the shoe. Mm. Not necessarily the best part of the shoe, but definitely our favorite part of the shoe. Or at least my favorite part of the shoe. No, I you. The fit. 100%. Oh my God. I'm with you on that. It was so good. I'm with you on that. I mean, it just fits so well. The materials, which also we'll get into in a second. 100%. The padding that the materials provide, mm -hmm. the way they feel, and then once the shoe is locked in, and the lacing system. That's that's my thing. If you can tell it's gonna be a great fitting shoe by this somewhat awkward looking lacing system, but for good reason. Bro, come on. Yeah. It caresses your foot. I'm with that. It caresses your that. foot. The padding plus the lacing system, the lockdown feels really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And I've said this a million times, Timmy's foot is not normal. Timmy's foot is not normal. His foot is long. It is abnormally long. My foot is definitely normal. It is on the normal side, just like many of you. However, this shoe took care of both of us. And if this shoe takes care of Timmy, <laughs> and it takes care of me, you damn straight it's gonna take care of you too, okay? So, Timmy, how do you feel about that? The fit was good. Timmy agrees that the fit was amazing. The fit was good. The fit was very the fit good. Was good. So above everything else, how does the shoe fit? True to size. True. It's easy, it's to the point, whatever size you normally get, get that size. That's true. So that being said, overall, the fit comes out at an above average eight out of 10. That's true. Oh, a great eight out of 10. Great eight out of 10. Yeah, 100%. Fantastic. Good stuff. So next up, we're talking about the traction. And here at Pure Kicks, we're calling this the weatherman traction pattern. Yeah. Why? Because it looks like the topography map Hey, the weatherman... You know about hey, come on, bro. I'm a scholar. I can't lie, I had to Google that before the oh, video. Yeah, I thought so. I had to Google that before the video, the smart, but it still bangs. Topography, weatherman traction pattern. You hit it here first, weatherman traction pattern. Now, how did the weatherman traction perform? Incredibly. Yeah. I'm talking all over as well. There's yeah. a little bit of wrap around where it kind of wraps up into the upper. Yep. Absolute beastly. It felt so, so good, especially on our fuzzy clean courts. Little bit of dust, yes, of course. So a young white took no problems. Yeah, the youngest. The wide grooves made sure that no dust was like kept in there. So you're good to go after a quick wipe. Absolutely amazing. Mm. You know what I like as well, Timmy? There's certain shoes mm. that require more of an aggressive wipe. You know what I mean? Are there different like, wipes? Like you wipe one time, but there's still dust. So you gotta go in there. Mm. Yeah, but with this shoe, I just go. It's a smooth one. It's a smooth wipe. It's a smooth wipe. You, you know, mean? like activate triceps. Yeah, you just yeah, you, you, you know you know them you know when you see ballers yeah and they wipe the shoe nice and smooth. It's like a sexy one. Like it like, like it looks like it's part like it looks it's part of the play. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a sexy wipe. Yeah. yeah. I hear yeah, that. I, hear I that, feel yeah, sexy wipe in the shoe, I can't lie. Yeah. Sexy wipe traction pattern, man. It's so sweet. The grooves have different layers to them. Yeah. And I really like that because it makes I the traction agree. button really aggressive. And you can really feel it out there on the basketball court. And that is nice when you can feel the traction oh, the button. Better. When it's squeaking, you know you're gonna have a great squeaks game. Real. So squeaks are real. I appreciate this. The only thing that I didn't like, mm. it's not say? a huge knock on the shoe. I know what you're gonna say. But it's wearing away a little bit. Just, a, just around the toe area, it's mm. wearing away. And obviously, we've only played in the shoe indoors. Yeah. If it's wearing away indoors, 
we wouldn't recommend the shoe outdoors. It's a no-go. It's a no-go outdoors. Of course, you could still play in these outdoors. You can play in anything outdoors. However, we wouldn't recommend these outdoors. We wouldn't recommend these outdoors. Nah. However, even with that knock, the traction pattern bangs. It is so good. The aggression is nice. The wraparound is beautiful. Yeah. Everything about this traction pattern is A1. A1. So with all of that being said, the traction comes out at a 9 out of 10. Yep. Straight up. More deserve. Some 9 right. out of 10. Must be. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Mm -hmm. And these bad boys right here to mm -hmm. me. My bro. Yep. My friend. How can I help you? We have Micro G. 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 Micro. G. <laughs> Jokes aside, Micro G is beautiful. So beautiful. So good. Now nah, I'm messing with it. Response? Oh, it's there. Come it on. It's there. It's constructed so well. Yeah, it you really feel is. it instantly out the box, don't 100%. you? And what's really good about it as well is that it doesn't put them out. Yeah. Durability. Durability is key. very important when it comes to cushioning. Oh man. I think it gets looked over a lot. Because yeah. sometimes a lot of companies look at the cushioning and think, oh, this is the new cushioning and it's amazing. Forgetting that it has to last a whole season. Yeah. And some cushioners just don't do that. Micro G, exception. Yeah. That was its strength. Bro, I'd go as far as saying that the cushioning just feels better and better every time I play in the shoe. Wow. I'd go as far as saying that. Okay. The statement has been made. Am I with you on that? Yes. Yes, he is. There you go. That was easy. Not only is the cushioning very durable, but actually the way the micro G is constructed in the anatomic is just, it's, it's just perfect. Yeah, it's Does nice. that make sense? It's sweet. The way it's done is that you feel all the court you need. Obviously in the forefoot, it's super close to the ground, but whereas in the heel, you've got that infra protection, perfect for pretty much everyone. Court feels great for your point guards and your two guards and whatnot, and those who pre preference the court feel, but then your infra protection in the heel for pretty much everyone else, for all y'all to get involved in the anatomic lows. That being said, the score is a 9 out of 10. It's a great 9 out of 10. It's a big boy 9 out of 10. So next up, we're talking about the materials. Now here in the Anatomic Spawn Lows, we have a flex gear and exposed mesh upper throughout. Now the exposed mesh is that black part, whereas the red and the blue is your flex gear. Yep. The flex gear is actually anatomically positioned. Hence the name. Which actually adds to support. Now Flo, tell them what anatomically means, bro. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I know what the word means. <laughs> <laughs> we had to Google it beforehand. Anatomical relates to the body and how it's structured, all right? Don't quote me on that. I Google searched it, all right? <laughs> so what that basically means is that the flex gear was positioned to where the body, hence the foot, needs it to be positioned. Gang, gang, come on. Anatomic spawn low. Google for life. <laughs> Google. The flex gear slash open mesh construction was a beautiful combination. We really enjoyed it. And what I enjoyed I about it the most personally was it was an out of the box, straight on the court experience. There you go. Good Breaking time was minimal. We love that. Close to zero, bro. I agree. Close, Close to, zero. to zero. And that is what we want out of our basketball sneakers. It is 2019. That's it. We do not have time for breaking shoes in. Nope. Not it anymore. shouldn't take three slash four, five, six wears. No. Nope. Nah, it should nah, be nah, instant out the box. It's not good enough. Five minutes maximum. Maximum. Anything more than that, it is a bad shoe. Job done. And this shoe is not a bad shoe. So that means it took less than five minutes if you did the maths there. Right. <laughs> Overall, Flex Gear did its thing. It added to the fit, as we spoke about earlier. It added a little bit to support, which we'll get into in a minute, yeah. but it really did its thing. So yeah. it was really good to see. With that being said, Flex Gear and Open Mesh gets an eight out of 10. Sweet eight. Take that. Next up, talking about the support in the shoe, and that comes from this internal TPU heel counter. Obviously, the overall lockdown of the shoe, which comes from the fit and the lacing system. We have the outrug of the shoe yeah. to help with lateral support. We also have this midfoot shank to make sure the shoe doesn't twist too much, which also adds to the support of the shoe. And all in all, it was really good. Yeah. It wasn't great. It I wasn't agree. like, wow, the support of the shoe was crazy. But it was cool. It got their job done. I agree. I was supported. That's it. It's a low top shoe, so obviously the support isn't going to be 10 out of 10. Nope. But it was still very, very good very. for what the shoe provides. And the minimalistic materials as well. Obviously, when you have materials like this soft, Support will have a little bit of knock. Yep, that's true. But 
Zippo was fine. If you are somebody who is skeptical because it's a low top shoe, don't be. The lockdown in the shoe is really, really good. Even better than some high top shoes of Apple. Oh, the lockdown in the shoe is really, really nice. So all of that being said, taking everything into consideration, the support in this shoe is a seven. Seven out of 10, Humble above seven. average. Humble seven. Gets the job done. You can hoop in these seven out of 10 is. So right guys, looking at all the scores, the Under Armour Anatomic Spawn Low gets a fantastic 8.2 out of 10. Under Armour is here. They're ready. They're not Whoa. playing. And they should be very proud of themselves. You know what I'm going to say? This is my favorite Under Armour shoe so far. Hey, that's a big statement. This is statement. my favorite Under Armour shoe so far. It does bang. It's so good in fact that it's in my rotation. Spoiler alert. Now why is the shoe in my rotation? Because the fit just bang, it was bro. Awesome. It was so good. Creepy. And that's just my favorite part of the shoe. That's not even the best part of the I shoe. Hate that. The best parts of the shoe are the traction and the cushioning. There you go. I'm a guard and I love the low top cushioning setup that we have here. I'm with that. Micro G is beautiful. Oh, Under Armour needs to put that into every single shoe that they Nothing have in else. their rotation. This is, make this the beginning. Micro G is everything. That's it. Okay? It is the one. I enjoy it. Continue using it because I love it. And then the weatherman traction pattern. Weatherman traction pattern. Come on, man. Come on. This is what you guys need to keep doing. That's it. This is it. The bar has been set. That's all we're going to say. Just keep it there, please. So, right, guys, there you have it. But before we go, another massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct for sending these through. After hearing everything we've had to say, if you need your pair, head down to our description box and hit the link and cop yourself a pair of anatomic spawn lows and use our promo code purekicks10 to get 10% off not only these but everything else on the site it's only a limited time so head over now just so you don't miss it and as always like this video if you enjoyed this review comment down below what your thoughts are on the anatomic spawn low and subscribe to our youtube channel we are flirting with 10k flirting, flirting. Blowing kisses. and we need your support and if you want to show us some extra love hit the bell next to the subscription button so you'll be notified every single time we drop a new video. So right guys, there you have it. This is the Under Armour Anatomic Spawn Low. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.